Hello and welcome to video message number 34 to Donald Trump and the politicians over there in Ohio and the presidential candidates and anybody else that's watching this. Today will tell us the beginning or the end of a money conspiracy of animals being stolen from people out of Ohio shipped to different facilities all over the country as long as you're in bed with the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries and Big Cat Rescue and the Humane Society of the United States. So later today we'll be posting what the decision is on the uh, committee over there in Ohio for the budget committee to approve this half a million dollars and 200,000 of that is coming out of your pockets as American citizens in the state of Ohio. Not coming out of the animal people's pockets, but Jesus Christ, I shouldn't have watched the Today Show this morning. Here's part of the problem of the citizens of this country that I just don't understand. Over there in Missouri, you've got some kind of a college going bonkers and shit crazy because the dean of the school won't act or he didn't seem to be concerned enough about a swastika painted on the side of a building over there, so they're rioting to beat the shit out of the band. And then you've got two black cops down there in Louisiana that shot some six-year-old little kid, a white kid in the front seat of a car. You see anybody rioting about that? Do you see the white people getting all upset because two black cops shot a little kid in the front seat of a car all because his dad wouldn't stop for a traffic violation? But you say something about the black people in this country and they come fucking apart. And that's why things are changing in this country for them because A, they get up and they bitch, B, they protest, and C, they ain't gonna sit down and take this shit like all you animal people do. I don't know what it's gonna take to get you up off your ass. So we're gonna have a couple of decisions today to make. One of them is we're either gonna throw a celebration party that the budget committee's finally catching on to what all these videos are about and what we're bitching about, about this money scheme going on in the animal world, or two, we're gonna prove that they don't give a fuck and they're gonna give away another half a million dollars of your tax money, and we're gonna see just where this is all turned out. Because if they approve a half a million more dollars today, and they're gonna hand 200,000 of it to a bunch of people that we offered to do the same thing absolutely free, we know, without a doubt, there's a plan behind all this in order to funnel money from you tax-paying citizens over there in Ohio to the animal rights people that are bitching about all this and they're the only ones making money. I got a couple of news flashes for a bunch of you people out there. If anybody's broken, has any information, I've been authorized today to offer a $10,000 cash reward to anybody leading with some information to the prosecution of Carol Baskin or Big Cat Rescue skinning tigers down there in Florida and selling any of those body parts. So if you work or have worked or know any information about where the bodies of all these animals she's skinning down there is going and we can prosecute her for that, there's a $10,000 cash reward sitting there waiting on you. And while we're playing with funny money, that's what I call it when you got more money and you know what to do with and it really doesn't mean anything to you anymore. There's another cash reward out there, a $50,000 cash reward to anybody that has information leading to the arrest and the conviction of whether or not Carol Baskin had anything to do with the disappearance of a multi-millionaire who was her ex-husband, Jack Don Lewis. So there's $60,000 on the plate right there of funny money to give somebody with some leading information to start putting an end to some of this shit. You know, one thing I don't understand about this Ohio thing and the senators in the House of Representatives that passed this thing is, did y'all not think ahead that somebody had to take care of these animals and how much it was going to cost to build a facility and house those animals and take care of them? But you dump three and a half million dollars into building a facility that you ain't even keeping them in. That's the part that makes absolutely no sense at all. So now they're begging for more money to keep this going. But you know, you haven't put an account of how much it's costing the taxpayers for cop cars, SWAT teams, helicopters, everything else to raid these people like they're some kind of 
big old drug dealers or criminals instead of just mom and pop owns a tiger in their backyard. Now on video mission number 33, I made the state of Ohio an offer. And we're gonna keep that offer up into today too, just in case they turn this budget thing down. And that is we will go over to Ohio and we will talk to the people that you think are in violation and we will move their animals until something gets straightened out. We'll send a big ass truck down there to Tampa, Florida to pick up them animals that were confiscated and we will board and take care of any of the animals out of the state of Ohio at our facilities absolutely free to the taxpayers into the state of Ohio. This will not cost you a dime, so let's cancel some contracts and let's get these animals back out of the hands of these people that are making money and getting rich off all this shit. Okay, but the last part is, is I affiliate and can talk to any one of those people that own animals over there in Ohio. There is no need to pull into a residence and traumatize little children with SWAT teams, helicopters, and everything else. I can guarantee God damn to you, I can drive over there and have a one-on-one -on -one talk with anybody such as Michael Stapleton or Daniel Chambers, and we can move their animals without all this cost and this taxpayers, all this money, and scaring the hell out of kids so they traumatize for the rest of their life because you're looking at AR-15s down the barrel all because their mom and dad's got an exotic animal. I can do this without any of that shit, so just give me an opportunity, you lawmakers. Ohio, if you want this shit to calm down and stop, start working with us, because all of this is crazy nonsense bullshit. I've been asking you six questions for the last 33 days, and I'm gonna change them questions up just a little bit. I'd like to know a few new questions. One is, how come not one goddamn politician will take the concerned citizens of this country and listen to our voice? We want 30 minutes to sit down with any one of you people that are running for president to see if you're gonna make any changes to make this country any better. Two is, how come the citizens of Ohio and the lawmakers of Ohio ain't smart enough to see that this is costing all of y'all? It's not costing us anything. Three is, how come every one of you politicians that are running for the presidential office can't just grow the hell up? You know, we could care less. You know, I don't know what it's gonna take to get these people running for president to grow the fuck up. We could give a shit less whether or not Ben Carson was offered a scholarship or if that's just part of his fictional book in order to sell a book or whether or not he was a thug. You know what, being a thug in this country and being the president of the United States might be the toughest son of a bitch you ever got in there in order to fight some of these bastards abroad cutting people's heads off and blowing planes out of the air. But it's gonna take somebody that's not politically correct and a hell of a fighter in order to straighten this country up. We got Marco Rubio down there supporting people that's breaking the law right now laundering money out of the state of Ohio down to his own state in Florida. Why the hell would we want that son of a bitch to be president? Donald Trump, you're running out of time here, mister. The animal people and the 62 million people that are worried about all this stuff is waiting for you to sit down for 30 minutes and see if you even give a shit about any of this. And Hillary Clinton, you've already been president for two terms. We don't need you back in there. You didn't do shit the first time around when you were running the White House the first time. But hey, all of you presidential candidates, this one's not gonna quite fit Hillary Clinton. To all you lawmakers out there, I got a gift for you so you can clean your dicks off before you butt fuck the rest of this country. And then you can run an honest campaign and let's put a stop to some of this crooked shit going on in this country. You know what? Either that or write me in for president. I'll gear and goddamn tell you we'll straighten this country up because it won't take very long. But you know who I'd like to see be president of the United States of America? Sarah Palin. Now that woman's got balls. And she damn sure would get in there and straighten some of this shit up. You know, I bet you if you had a problem over in the Middle East, She'd hop in that hunting helicopter she got up there in Alaska and she'd fly over there and pick every one of them motherfuckers off and fly back home and call it a day. Now that's my kind of woman if you're gonna put a woman in the presidential campaign. But you know what's funny is the Queen of England, she got her shit all together. She got people that are standing right there in front of her doors and you can't even make them people crack a smile. And our presidents and our politicians are getting blowjobs in the back room. 
So you know what, maybe we need to just incorporate our country into the country of England and just let Queen Elizabeth run all this shit. I'm Joe Exotic and I'll see you for video message number 35 tomorrow.